I wake up every morning at 6 a.m. Yes, I know it sucks, but I have to catch the train for 7.48 a.m. every morning, and waking up at 6 allows me to check my morning notifications, take a shower, brush my teeth, get my morning push-ups in, and of course, we have to make some fire breakfast. And finally, I have to ensure that I have all my gear I need for work, which is my camera, my mics, my batteries, and most importantly, the M1 MacBook Pro. Whenever I board the trains in the mornings, I like to quickly check socials and browse the net for a little and also check my emails. The first thing I do is check my work email to see if I missed any important stuff overnight and then I want to check over on my main YouTube channel email to reply to companies I'm currently working with for future videos. After that, I like to hop into Notion and start my to-do list for the day, which is very key. I do this every morning as it gives me a sense of direction and feeling of accomplishment whenever I get to tick off all my boxes by the end of the day. I also like to jot down some pointers of what I would like to say during my morning talk which is a 9.30 meeting I have every morning with the team so the calls could be a lot faster and more productive. Typing on the M1 MacBook Pro feels so good and honestly I didn't expect to like the keyboard this much but it's very easy to type on and reach all the keys. Also the touch bar to me is very underrated, I don't know why it gets so much hate but in a lot of instances it definitely comes in handy and yeah I like it. The trackpad is also one of the best laptop trackpads I've ever used and trust me I've used a lot of laptops in the past so in terms of hardware this laptop does not disappoint at all. If I was driving, it would roughly take me half an hour to get to work, but since I don't drive, I have to take the transit, which consists of two trains and a streetcar. Yes, this thing is what they call a streetcar here in Canada. It's pretty funny, but it gets the job done. At first, it was annoying, but honestly, I got used to it, and since I'll be moving to Toronto closer to work very soon, I could bear the pain for now. So usually if I'm first at work, I'll do a little housekeeping to make sure everything is in order, open up the blinds and all that, but hopefully my boy Neil already did everything, so now all I would have to do is just set up my MacBook. And speak of the devil, Neil is gonna be late, so I guess I have to do the housekeeping today. Alright guys, just made it to work. Today's uh, today is supposed to be a super busy day, but the issue we're having is that it's currently raining right now. So I'm supposed to have a shoot today. I'm supposed to go down to um, Young Street, shoot a couple of videos that I need to edit for this project that I'm doing with my company. And then also, we have to edit a lot of footage. So I have so much footage we have to edit today with the M1 MacBook Pro. So you guys will see me work on Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom. We'll see how it works. But yeah, now I have the meeting. We have a meeting for 9.30. As I said before, the team meetings, I'm five minutes late, but it's all good because I'm the first one here. Neil didn't end up making it. So yeah, let's get started, let's go. And I was like, I did my script yesterday and I said, normally I would come in and do housekeeping, but I'm sure my Neil, my boy Neil got that for me. But of course, Neil was late today for the, this is like the first time I came before you, right? This is the first time. Actually, you came, you came before me yesterday slightly, just, just right before Yeah, me. just a little bit. Oh. But yeah. That's funny though. It's this rain, man. When does TTC <laughs> come? Or once it rains, TTC just doesn't know what to do. Facts, bro. <laughs> My setup at the office is pretty simple. I'm using a single USB-C cable to my BenQ ultra-wide monitor 
and to my surprise that also charges up the M1 MacBook while it's docked. So I'm not really sure how to show you guys the battery life since when it's docked it's always charging but usually if I'm not charging this thing it would last the entire day. As of right now I'm using the MacBook as a dual monitor setup so I have it placed right in front of my external monitor. I just work from there. I edit a lot of videos every day so having an ultra wide monitor to view my timeline is a blessing. I also use the MX Master 2 right now for my mouse of choice but I won't really go too much in depth with the peripheral since I'll be doing a dedicated office setup tour very soon. I use this app called Better Snap Tool to organize my windows because for some strange reason Apple hasn't figured out how to do that natively and it's really annoying. So after setting up my MacBook and everything, I normally have around 25 minutes for entertainment before or morning group meetings. So I would just catch up on YouTube videos or just go on TikTok to kill some time. Our morning meeting usually lasts for around 15 to 30 minutes and for this zoom call I use the 720p HD camera that's on the M1 MacBook and honestly it's not the best. I wish it was 1080p, maybe the same camera that's found in the iPad Pros would be amazing but just for zoom calls I guess it does the job. And for audio, I simply just use the AirPods Pro since it's easy to set up and has decent sound quality. But once it comes on to editing videos, I like to use my Sony MX4 for that since it just has a good overall noise cancellation system and it just sounds better than the AirPods. <laughs> so yeah, that's my choice of listening device, I guess. Before we go any further, this video is also sponsored by myself, Chevron Salmon, and also the Radial Wallpaper Packs. Okay, so now it's around 10.15 and this is the time I'd like to start editing. I know a lot of people who own MacBooks usually use Final Cut to edit, which makes sense since Apple developed Final Cut, it runs really smooth on it, but surprisingly, Adobe Premiere Pro works just as fine and it works really good on the M1 chip and I've been using it for over a month now to edit all my work related videos and I haven't had any issues surprisingly. I got the M1 with 16 gigs of RAM and 1TB SSD internal storage which is good enough for what I do but I also use an external SSD with another 1TB of storage just to be safe and so when I get home I could pop it into my PC if needs be. Bars. Opening programs on the M1 MacBook Pro is ridiculously fast and I can have Adobe Premiere Pro open and have multiple apps running in the background and it doesn't hinder my performance, that's the power of the M1. I'm currently editing a video on Premiere Pro Beta which is currently supported for M1 chips. It's really impressive to see the beta version of Premiere Pro performing this well. I could play back 4K footage, scrub on the timeline, it also took around 17 minutes to export that 10 minute 4K video which to me is a bit longer than I expected but then again I had two camera angles and also added color correction and remember Premiere Pro is still in beta for the M1 so hopefully whenever it's out of beta the export will be a little bit faster. Right now it's currently 11.49. I have to upload a video for 12 so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to edit the thumbnail for that said video. So I have to give that video that I was doing earlier a break and find a clip or something in Premiere Pro from my previous video. I know it's a lot of videos, but this is what I have to deal with every day. So this is the video right here. I have to grab a thumbnail for this one. So I'm going to maybe fix it up in, the, in Lightroom a little bit, but let's see. If you could find a nice thumbnail right here. So this is a video that's already edited. So you can see it has the adjustment layer, which is the color correction. So let me just do that real quick. You can see out the color correction there. And this has a lot of things going on. It has drone footage. It has text overlays. And it plays back smoothly, right? You guys can see it. So let's play this. You guys can see a lot of things in the timeline, right? And it works well. And this, as a, this is a what, two, three minute video. Um, oh, here we have an essential graphics pack that I used. It plays well, smoothly, half preview. There's nothing to worry about, man. After about 10 minutes of scrubbing, we finally found a thumbnail. So we're just gonna jump into Lightroom real quick. Let's add this thumbnail in here. And this is not in beta, Lightroom actually works well on M1. So kudos to Adobe. So let's just add this image. 
And there's not really much to do, but let's just show you guys that everything works well, right? So, you know, up the exposure a little bit, bring down the highlights, a little bit of the shadows, boom, a little bit of vibrance. Just trying to make it look thumbnail already, you know what I mean? And of course, we could come down here and add a little clarity to that. Boom. Then boom, edit in Photoshop. You guys can see how quick that jumped into Photoshop, no hitching. I tell you man, the empower baby. So yeah, all I had to do was make sure I made the right corrections, all the changes to the thumbnail. It took me roughly, I would say six, seven minutes to make the thumbnail, not because of the speed being slowed down, but just because I wanted everything to be perfect. So, you know, we could get those clicks on the YouTube channel. That's what I'm here for, to get those views and those clicks. So I have to ensure that the thumbnail looks really nice. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, now I'm feeling really hungry. Today I was a bit late for lunch since I was grinding all day, but around 1.30 p.m. I was like, nah, my tummy is rumbling, so I had to grab some food. Thankfully, it wasn't raining, and I headed to my favorite Chinese spot in the area and grabbed some sweet and sour chicken. Okay, so right now it's currently 2.48 p.m. Work ends at 5, but we're gonna go on a shoot as we mentioned earlier today, so... There's not much we could do again with the MacBook for the day. And in terms of battery life, because it's docked with this monitor, it charges automatically. So I can't really talk too much about battery life. But yeah, we did a video. We edited in Lightroom, we edited in Photoshop. And we're gonna take some pictures and then come back here and also edit those as well. So yeah, pretty smooth throughout the day. No complaints. <laughs> So it's currently 4.23, we just finished a couple shooting in the condo downstairs so we took some pictures as you can see right here and we also did a video. Now it's almost time, it's almost that time 5 p.m. 9 to 5 you know the vibes. So the MacBook did its job for today and we're out here in this beautiful views. So let's make sure you guys subscribe to the Broadview Avenue group channel if you want to see like more content of me behind the scenes and everything. Alright, peace. Alright guys, so I think my mic wasn't working. But now it's currently 6.10 and that concludes the day. So it was kind of a successful day. We still have some stuff to get done tomorrow, but it's mainly just editing. So yeah, what do you think, Ken? Long day, man. Long day. Put in the work. Put in the work. Well, it's time to get some rest. <sighs> so after a long day, I had to catch the train. And you see me running here. It isn't just for the camera. The train was literally closing in like one minute, so I barely made it. The first thing I did was hop onto Notion to ensure I accomplished all of my goals or most of the goals for today and also checked my personal YouTube email to see if I missed anything during work. I also grabbed my SD card from my camera bag just to check on a few pictures and videos I took and since this would be like a 40 minute train ride, I can also edit those condo pictures we took today. Editing these images in Lightroom Classic was fairly simple and didn't really take a toll on the MacBook at all. Add a total of 108 pictures to merge into a HDR picture or HDR file, which took around 5 minutes to compose. We usually shoot in HDR because we could expose for the outside and also the inside, giving a really nice result, so it's really good shooting HDR for real estate photography. So after I finished editing the photos, it was right on time for me to get off the train and head home. As soon as I walked in, I saw a package at my door and it was from Logitech to complete my desk setup video so make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss that video and now it's time to take a shower and get some rest. Psych! It's been a long day, it's currently my, my Apple Watch battery is dead. Let me know if you guys can hear that because I could definitely do but it has been roughly 14-13 minutes elapsed. 13 minutes 35 seconds so 
it's almost finished. It's like around three minutes remaining. It's currently 11.36 p.m. right now. Um, I was working on the M1 MacBook Pro. I just did some organization stuff because we shot on three different SD cards today. So after every day, I like to just organize everything. So when I go into the studio or the office tomorrow, it's just strictly editing. Fridays is just like a lot of editing. So I have all of my files organized. I didn't really edit um, anything we shot today as yet. So that, as I said before, I'll do that tomorrow. But the M1 has 71% battery life. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but yeah, it's doing well so far. I don't usually charge this um, at home, but if I have to, I do have like a USB-C charger by my bed. But yeah, like it's been a very long day, kind of stressful, but I love it. Don't get it twisted. I love it. So now I'm just going to take a shower, try to get to bed before 12 so I could wake up again tomorrow and do the same thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of content, I'm not sure, but I put a lot of effort into it. So if you don't mind, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.